You click on this video because you're tired of relapsing over and over again and you're just tired of it, bro. So let me just get straight to the point. The reason that why most people relapse, it's not because they fall into the temptation, it's not because they watch a girl dancing explicitly on TikTok, or it's because they don't have a strong willpower, whatever that you can think of. I don't think a lot of people talk about this before, but the real reason of why people relapse is because their mental health isn't good. The answer is pretty simple. You might sleep late, you might wake up late, your work isn't done, you play games all day, your screen time is basically at all time high. You have a bad mental health because you don't work out. You have a bad mental health because you eat ultra processed food like junk food, McDonald's and all these other fast food chains, bro. You scroll through TikTok for hours, you spend hours browsing for a perfect porn video, literally frying your dopamine out, bro. But, but Albert, me, uh, having a bad mental health is a, is a disease, bro. You can fix that sh Shut the f*** up. You can fix your mental health and here's how you do it. If you think you have a good mental health but you still relapse, there might be some things that you're still doing wrong which I will uncover very very soon so subscribe. First off, I really want you to look at all the things that are around you. Go ahead. Maybe you're in your bedroom or whatever else, right? Just look at all the things around you. Those are literally the answers of why you have a good mental health or bad mental health. If you have a bad mental health, your room are probably messy, most of your works are undone, you constantly procrastinate, you kind of lack the discipline to do uncomfortable things in your life. Now, all those things that might not seem to contribute of why you relapse, but it actually is. Those things might trigger you to fab because you thought, I've already f***ed up my life. My work are undone, I constantly procrastinate, I like the discipline, so why don't I just fap it all off? I need the stress to go away. Which is why I wanted to fap. I want to release the tension. <laughs> Bro, come on. Oh my god. If you look at a person who is a high achiever, he might not be a multi-millionaire or a billionaire, but he constantly finishes his work, he doesn't procrastinate, he has the discipline to go to the gym consistently, and he's constantly being the best version of himself. Now let me ask you this one simple question. Do you think this person still faps to porn and then jacking off like a f***ing monkey? No, you don't think so, right? Now the real question is, how can we get from point A, where your room is messy, you constantly procrastinate, and everything is just fucked up, to point B, where you get everything you wish to achieve in your life. You're lucky because I'm helping a thousand people to quit porn and becoming the best version of themselves. So subscribe. Now when it comes to NoFab, NoFab itself is a mere test of how good you are at controlling yourself, showing how disciplined you are and how much self-respect to actually follow through what you say. Now this advice which I'm about to share to you isn't like all the other NoFab YouTubers that will tell you, which you need to count the days, you need to keep track of everything, etc. But the thing is this, if you don't take care of your mental health, you will still fat. I've literally seen people who fat every single week when they've been on no fat for like years and you don't want to be that person. And I can almost guarantee you that if you just work on your mental health using this few tips that I'm about to share to you, heck, this might even be the last no fat video that you will watch. So one of the best tips is to take control starting today. The more you can control yourself in any aspect of your life, the more you will succeed. Heck, not just on NoFap, you will literally win in every aspect, your business, your relationship, your physical health, mental health, etc. Now, taking control isn't just about relying on your willpower or telling yourself that you will not touch your pee, -pee when you're horny. That's not what it means. But it's simply more about taking control of yourself, striving to become a better individual day by day. I want you to ask yourself, what is the one thing that is slightly uncomfortable to do but you know that if you do it, you would feel a little better about yourself. Now, what is that thing that you should do today? It doesn't really have to be anything significant, but most of you guys started off with very high expectation of yourself, telling yourself that this is my first day on NoFap. I will forever quit porn and will not relapse forever. But the truth is that 95% of you guys that's watching this video will relapse at some point. And you know what? that's totally okay because it literally takes a lot of willpower. It takes a lot of steps before you can actually succeed on NoFap. So what you should do is that take a small step toward that level. Maybe your room has been messy for quite a while, so plan to clean it out. You know it's not much by simply cleaning your room and you might think that it doesn't have anything to do with NoFap, but trust me, there is because you know you've done something uncomfortable you know you've done something that is good for yourself and you slowly build the habit of going through uncomfortable events in your life and the best thing about this is that you slightly feel confident about yourself thinking that hey this kind of feels good if i can clean my room if i can do this small uncomfortable feelings then that simply means that i can start doing other uncomfortable events in my life and that is how the snowball start to form in your life because one small step 
can lead to a ripple effect that could change your life completely. And that is how you win on NoFap. Now I can share one advice that you can start doing this week. It might seem uncomfortable. It might seem very common for me to share this to you. But one of the best start that I can suggest to you is to go to the gym. Not only you're occupying yourself with other activities than just being in your room fapping to porn, but it will really improve your mental health significantly and help you to push yourself by going through uncomfortable events consistently. Also, you can get ripped. Bro, going to the gym is literally a win-win. And if there's like a ranking tier of self-improvement, gym is literally easily on the S tier on NoFap and self-improvement, bro. Now, I think I talk about why going to the gym is the best investment that you can do for yourself. So make sure to go and watch that video. The more you can occupy yourself with any activity other than just staying in your room, the better chance you will win on NoFap. When you're out there, bro, chasing real dopamine, getting some sunlight, working out, it's literally much more fulfilling than just staying in your dark room fapping alone, bro. Like, can you simply imagine after you're not in your room and you have to grab a tissue to clean yourself and you have to go to the shower and that post not clarity hits you hard? Man, it's just depressing, bro. Now, you might have experienced that before, right? Even when you told yourself not to fap, but you still did it. Because let's Let's just face it, you've been addicted to porn for like years, right? What, three years, five years, or even 10 years, or even longer than that. And you've only started NoFap like a week or a month ago, right? NoFap isn't something that you start for once and then you can complete it immediately. It's actually a continuous battle that you have to face consistently every single day. So I want you to not count the days, but instead, I want you to track how much you fab in a month and then just simply decrease that number every single month. So let's just say right now you're fapping once a day. So that means you're fapping 30 times in a month. So by next month, I want you to reduce that number by maybe 20 or 15 times in a month. Your very own goal is to go lower than that number that you set for yourself. And let's just say the month has ended and you ended up fapping 10 times during that month. So I want you to use that number as a benchmark and help that to set a new goal for the next month. So for next month, probably set it to like seven times or five times. And your goal for the next month is to go lower than that number that you've set for yourself. Eventually, you carry this habit with you of not fapping to porn and you start to get used to of the new lifestyle that you set for yourself. Remember, if you go easy in life, then it'll be hard. But if you go hard in life, then life will be easy. Find comfort in discomfort. See you next video. Cheers.